everyone, my name is Demi Bernice and you are watching Demi TV. The goal of this video channel is to help you awaken your inner alpha so you can follow your dreams and find your authentic voice. And today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to talk about three steps on how to deal with your criticism if you're emotionally unstable. So what up emotionally unstable people like me? In all honesty, I don't have this whole thing figured out yet. But of course, I have my own way of navigating on things like this and I want to teach you that so you could go on and move on with your life and be able to navigate on these types of situations. That is very common for people who are putting themselves out there and actually are building their own business. So without further ado. <music> So as Tony Robbins always says, business is a good spirituality game. That means when you are building your business, when you're putting yourself so much out there that a lot of people can see, you are very vulnerable and criticism is always inevitable and you always have to expect that coming your way when you are exposing yourself to a lot of people. In my very own personal experience, I still don't have this all figured out. I still have a lot of struggles when it comes to taking criticisms naturally or letting them go or however you want to say it my boyfriend Bo will be the first one who will tell you that I'm not really good at taking criticisms and although I do not have this all figured out yet I want you to know that we will be riding this journey together not only in increasing our income but also becoming a better person and that is one of the reasons why I am recording this video so without further ado again let's jump right in first one is you cut it all out so how do you cut out these things you shut them all out it's like how Anna in the movie Frozen is being shut off by Elsa with the door like that's how you do it Grace that's how you do it the cold never bothered me anyway I'd like to share to you my experience. One time I was commenting on this on this post on a specific Facebook group and I was saying something, I can't even remember what it is, and there was just that one person that totally did not agree with what I was saying. So he just rambled on, comment on something that made me so pissed. I don't even know why. Maybe because humans as we are, we want to always be right right? You always want to be right. You always want to be accepted. You always want your opinions to be acknowledged and that is normal. But what's not normal is go ramble on something or just go out of your way to make sure that you are disagreeing with that person and that person knows that you are disagreeing with whatever it is that he's saying, right? So that is the wrong thing in there but how do you navigate in these types of situations well one thing that i have always been doing is that to just simply cut the person i either unfollow that person on facebook i don't talk to that person or i just simply not reply to the comment that that person has posted because i don't want to ignite a lot of anger to each of the parties you know you could get mad while you are writing that comment because there's that emotion that is stinging inside you and you want to let that out but instead of letting that out maybe it's okay to just let it all go and let it flow and you would know how to do that in the next step another advice that i would like to tell you is that if you are in the same situation like i was you were in a facebook group and you were commenting into something might as well just not not click on the notification right just don't click on a notification just leave it there log out on your Facebook shut down your computer do something else and the next day still just ignore that notification when you open your Facebook or any other platforms that you have that specific person who's contradicting with your ideas right so just ignore that person because some people just really want to troll and I understand that because some people really just get the pleasure out of just trolling or disagreeing with other people. So for you to fight with that person correctly is to ignore them because they want a reaction from you. They want a specific reaction from you. And that's the reason why sometimes other people like that just 
comment whatever they want to say in their head on the top of their head so that's not really good just ignore them and that's how you fight on trolls right so the second one is let the emotion flow in so what i'm trying to say with letting the emotion flow in is just letting the anger or whatever it is that you are feeling when you are hearing that criticism when when you are reading that specific comment that brings out the bad side of you or the monster that you have been taming for a while you just have to let the emotion flow if you are angry fine just sit down there chill feel that anger in your heart there's a burning thing that's in your heart that you are feeling when you are angry when you are sad there's a heavy feeling on your chest and just feel that just feel that for a while close your eyes just chill don't even bother replying to that person yet just let that emotion flow there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with feeling it because that is the distinct qualification of you of becoming human right so the bad side is if you are suppressing it because you wouldn't know what exactly how anger looks like or how sadness looks like in your world if you will not allow yourself to feel that right if you keep on suppressing that emotion once you cut out other people tend to just suppress the emotion just like snap their finger divert their attention to something else so that they would get over that feeling or they wouldn't feel that emotion anymore or the emotion will just stop flowing but that's not how you deal with your emotion if you are an emotionally unstable person like yours truly you have to start practicing feeling that emotion so that you would get used to it and you would wire your brain in a sense that okay i'm mad right now all right i'm sad right now although does that does not exactly how it sounds in your head but at least you are orienting your brain that that's exactly what the emotion is and the more you suppress your emotion the more you would be unstable with your emotions because you wouldn't know how to deal with them you wouldn't know how it feels like so it's better to just let it all flow right okay so the third step is you have to validate the truth what am i talking about when i'm saying you have to validate the truth when somebody is saying something about you half of it is bullshit half of it is the truth and you really have to accept that one time one person said that i'm not spending my money wisely and i was just like rambling on all things and i thought i was doing the right thing in my head i was like no i'm right like i haven't had this freedom in a while i haven't had this much money in my life so why not spend it right and anyway money will just flow and flow and flow and it's a continuous fountain an unstoppable fountain or an infinite fountain that is just flowing in my life so i don't need to worry about money just even one single bit and then after that month after i started spending all that money I started to recalculate this the expenses that I had and indeed I was really spending a lot of money and that was the only time that I started to realize that some people are saying something because half of it is the truth but also a part of them just really want to piss you off and that's part of the process other people just really want to piss you off but The thing here is you have to validate the truth. If it's really true that you are not spending your money wisely. If it's true that your video is not really of high quality on YouTube and you need to improve it as soon as possible or as soon as you can. Or if your audio on YouTube is not really that good and you really need to keep on improving yourself and publishing your videos or you keep on uttering words that aren't that doesn't really make sense like sometimes what i do and you just have to keep on improving yourself you use those half of the truth things that you hear from these criticism you use that half truth you use that as your way of improving yourself to become a better person and that's how you validate the truth make sure that you start asking yourself is that person saying the truth am i really like this 
and you you start to navigate things logically you start to spread out all these information and actually study them logically okay not emotionally so these things are step by step you have to first do the number one and number two to go with this number three because the third part is the most difficult part because you have to start spreading out the information in detail and you have to study it logically because then that's the only time that you would realize that that person is actually just saying 100% bullshit or 50% truth so that's the only way for you to actually analyze what that person says and for you to come up with a logical decision whether that person is bullshit or yeah he's saying somewhat the truth you have to just let the emotion die so preferably you do this validation of the truth maybe a couple of hours or the next day when you had that emotion all gone already in your system brother so that's how you you validate the truth in the things that other people are saying so just a little recap the first thing that you need to do is to cut it out cut out every negativity that you have in connection with that person if you need to unfollow that person on facebook do it or if you need to stop sending messages with that person do it because that's for your very own welfare and you have to make sure that you are becoming a better person each and every day right the second one is to let the emotion flow you just have to feel that emotion for a couple of minutes a couple of span of time and then let it die within itself don't suppress it because suppressing emotions is one of the reasons why you are emotionally unstable and that's not good right and the third one is of course validate the truth a couple of hours couple of days after that emotion has already died down in itself naturally that is the only time you can start spreading out the details of what has really happened and start logically asking yourself questions if that person was saying the truth checking into yourself checking up if you really were like this or if you were really like that or is there really something that you need to improve on and use that as your key to become a better person right so i hope this video was clear with all the muttering of the words that i have today because i wrote a different blog i'm supposed to record this video earlier but then there was like pounding upstairs so i didn't record it and now i already wrote another blog which is like kind of like in my head right now and that's one of the reasons why i'm like muttering words that aren't actually supposed to be what i am saying but either way ladies and gentlemen i hope this video has inspired you and if you like this content make sure that you click on the subscribe button tinker that bell button and you will never miss another video by me all right so i hope this video has inspired you and of course i'll see you in the next one peace